First up, it was a tense day on Capitol Hill as Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen testified about the migrant crisis on our southern border, a crisis she insists has not been manufactured by this president. Watch. We face a crisis, a real, serious, and sustained crisis at our borders. We have tens of thousands of illegal aliens arriving at our doorstep every month. We have drugs, criminals, and violence spilling into our country every week. Illegal immigration is simply spiraling out of control. Hmm, we should do something about the legal immigration. What? But to hear Democrats like California Congresswoman Nanette Brannigan tell it, the real national emergency is the treatment of migrant families. Nanette. In the meantime, you didn't do anything at all, and you let kids be separated without tracking them. Do you know how outrageous that is, Madam Secretary? You have no feeling, no compassion, no, no empathy here. She's like a human chihuahua. People would like if her more if she didn't hold back so much. Oh, no, no, Nanette. Following the hearing, South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham said the debate is over and the president has won because he will veto anything that prevents him from declaring a national emergency. But is this truly an emergency. Let's get a hold of ourselves. Joining me tonight, of course, these two. Let's have at it. American Majority CEO and former presidential speech writer Ned Ryan is here, along with the radio host and Fox News contributor Richard Fowler. Welcome back, gentlemen. Good to see you, Kennedy. Good to be back. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, Ned, I will start with you. Is this really a crisis? Well, I got to tell you, not only did Secretary Nielsen say it was a crisis, but you have the Washington Post and the New York Times and NPR all finally starting to admit that we might have a crisis if you're going to have up to a million illegal immigrants trying to get across the border this year alone. And, you know, the amazing part to me, Kennedy, is how just what a joke this has become on the southern border, especially with asylum claims. You have illegals showing up with children, mm -hmm. claiming they're coming to find economic, come to find jobs. Well, that's a deportable claim. Then you have pro-immigration lawyers coming alongside them and saying, no, you should claim government persecution, check the credible fear box, and those are being accepted at a, over a 90% rate. They're being held for 10 days and then released, catch and released into yeah. the country. This is a complete and utter joke. And the last thing I'll say on this is, Kennedy, keep, people keep on saying, well, for humanity's sake, we should continue to accept these people. I'm sitting here going, what about the humanity's sake of the American taxpayer who's having to foot the bill on all of this? At what point do we get to finally say, Republicans and Democrats, you better fix this out because we're getting well, sick and tired of being a, your ATM for your that's stupidity? a great point because Republicans and Democrats are not acting properly and in a timely manner on immigration or entitlement reform. And I don't think that entitlement should be used as a magnet to lure people into the country. But Richard Fowler, I don't think people are coming to the country because they want free stuff. I think it's actually it's more of a compliment than a crisis because people are coming here to work. Uh, but you say they're mostly asylum seekers. I disagree with that. Well, here's what's not a joke, Kennedy. What's not a joke is when a mother packs up everything she owns and puts it in a backpack and takes her two children and walks on foot from Honduras, Nicaragua, or Guatemala to our southern border because she's seeking asylum from violence, from drug cartels, which were created because of America's failed war on drugs. And the violence has gotten so much that she's afraid for the, the lives of her children and the lives of herself. And that's what's happening on our southern border. Okay, I understand and that, but, uh, okay, but here's, here's my question there. And, and you make a completely valid point about the failed war on drugs and uh, the murder and lawlessness that follow from that. But why not stop in Mexico? Because the, we are the, we are a country where in the right, right, not too far from where you're reporting tonight is the Statue of Liberty. It says, "Bring us your poor, mm -hmm. your tired, your hungry, seeking, yearning for freedom." Mm. Well, we're, that's what says in the Statue of Liberty, and that's what we are—a nation of immigrants. We have been, and we will continue to be. We are also are a nation Fine. of laws, and one of those laws are a law that said, if you are an asylum seeker, you have the the right to come to this country and seek asylum. What Donald Trump is trying to make this out to be is that okay, new, but how like do you that, how do you differentiate people hold, who just hold, hold want on. a? a little bit of an economic boost versus those who are seeking asylum because I don't think they're all asylum seekers, which is well, fine. I'm all for letting people for. in to work. I think it's but great. Kennedy. I think it's good for the economy, and I think it's a realization of the American dream. Go ahead, Ned. But, Kennedy, Senator Nielsen, uh, Secretary Nielsen has actually testified that when these asylum seekers' cases go before the courts, 90% of them are actually rejected and what? they are deported. A the government thing failure? A bureaucratic failure? Ned, now I've heard but, everything. Do you know why so many people wait, are coming wait, wait, over wait. here? No, no, but, I'm going I'm to talk for a little bit because this is truth. And I've got to speak to both of you because you're both wrong. 
Ned, the reason so many people are coming over here is because the door is closing and people are worried that they're going to get shut out on the other side. So people want to be here. Uh, you know, yeah, there are other countries that aren't as great as the United States of America. That doesn't make everyone who wants to leave somewhere that's not as good an asylum seeker. But the other thing is Congress has to do a better job of fixing laws and allowing people to come in so there's not this border panic when they think they're going to be shut out. Either one of you can take I, I just don't. Care. I just don't, Kennedy, I just don't understand why all of a sudden the American taxpayer is supposed to be the and escape the entitlement valve state. for then all we don't the have, Then we don't have to pay for all anything. All the mismanaged countries that. south of the border. Yeah. No, and, and you're correct in saying these are linked. I mean, the fact that we have a broken immigration system, mm -hmm. we have a broken welfare system, this is all, not, this is a very grim economic future I mean, I for the American people. Well, then maybe we shouldn't trust government with is, anything. You got the this last is a red word herring. Word. This is absolutely red herring to think that these, no, these folks who are coming to this country are just coming to sort of live off America's welfare system. These are some of the hardest working people. When they come to the United States, they clean houses, they work in kitchens, they literally are the backbone of this economy, working Working in farms, working in restaurants, mm -hmm. we're cleaning streets. These are what these people do when they come to this country. And to have the gall to think that they're coming here trying to live off our system and sap off the American government is not only disrespectful. You know what? Hey, if it's, if it's a reason to shrink the entitlement state, I don't care what the pretense is. I'm all for it. Gentlemen, thank you both so much. Great. Good to see you, Kennedy. Thank Thanks, you. Kennedy.